Hello there, so playing a poker game in Xbox's Home Games Club and yeah, using a different recording software, tweaked it a bit, so hopefully it works. I've got Cat Queen suited up in 3 bed, I'm going to call and see a flop, I'm going to check and probably fold this now. Yeah, too great. I actually folded one hand before because I was in the process of getting my recording software working. I didn't quite get it set up in time for the game. First hand kind of played out when I was just finishing setting it up. So hopefully this works. Okay, so I've got Ace Queen suited, but it looks like it's going to be folded to me, which is me. no, it's going to be raised just before me. I will re-raise that and hope he doesn't have Ace Ace. Thinking I've got a chance at beating. Hmm, okay, I've got a chance here. As long as he doesn't have a 5, I'm pretty screwed if he's got a 5. Well, he wouldn't have folded if he had a 5, so 9 ace. It's not terrible, but we'll see how things go. Well, let's see if I need this guy here to fold. <laughs> okay, uh, no, it's still possible he's got like ace queen or something. Um, I don't think he's got a king, come on, that would be too perfect. But he could have a queen. Nah, I'm letting this one go. I probably had it, but it was risky. 7 5, that's an easy fold. Five two suited that easy fold. Oh, okay, I would have made the lowest pair on a very dangerous board. Oh, shit, okay. I guess it's worse. I could have had actually what would be worse? <laughs> Not much. Uh, I guess seven. The seven two would have been worse off. I don't know, probably bit ahead of like say two three or three four, unless it's on club, in which case I'd be screwed, but okay, the point is I was not winning this hand. Unless like the next two cards come up five five. Maybe two two or two five, but Realistically, it's not there. Okay, I mean, now that it would have won me the hand and I folded it, probably will. Like, yeah, the next card's gonna be a 5 or a 2. And if I was playing this and it was that, someone else would have 3 4. Okay, I would have actually split the pot on that one. Alright. But in the wing. Oh well. Yeah, 4 Queen, that ain't going anywhere. Although I might be able to check it if I do it, I want it to be like an obvious instant check that um, that light would imply I was going to fold otherwise. Okay, so we go. I've got one over card. And not much else going for me. Jack 3, offsuit. I wonder what I'm going to do with that. I think I should go all in. Not. And is my mouse cursor showing up in this room? Yes it is. Okay, I need to fix that. I wonder if I can do it without interrupting the recording. Yep, it appears I'm still recording and the mouse curse is gone. Okay, what's he got there? 6-6 six, six maybe? Doesn't feel like he'd do that with 9-9, nine, nine, so... I guess 9-6 isn't off the table, but... You know, it could have been even like Ace-Ace or something. 7-6... Uh, I'll give it a shot. It's not a hand I particularly like, but...
it would be an awesome, well not awesome, but a decent hand if it was suited, but mostly hoping for some folds here. I don't know, probably not the best thing to do against this gyroscope person actually, because I mean, he's got very high BPIP, no fold to steal. I mean, he's taking his time, so maybe he is actually considering folding. The Dane will probably fold, and I probably need to be very afraid if he doesn't. I mean, does can watch cards come up, but definitely want to nope out of it if he do gets me. Okay, hmm. Tricky situation. Yeah. Let's go for a bit of a raise. Yeah, I need to fix my poker keyboard as well. You know, switch HUD with it. it doesn't refocus on this. Okay, I can set it back to the prefix one manually. Mm, do I want to? Re I think I just want to call him here because he could have a flush or a better suit here. Nope, I won that one. Awesome. King five suited. Yeah, from a later position, sure I could have played that, but early position under the gun. Mm, nah. I oh, only got a 3 bet from that type player there, so. What was it, King 5? Yeah. Okay. I'm guessing the Dane must have 9 9 or 10 10 here to be playing like this. I don't know, I guess can't rule out like making pocket aces, but. Oh, pocket jacks. My totally favourite hand. Really, I hate pocket jacks. It's so hard to play post flop. I mean, you can't exactly go folding it too easily either, so. Oh, maybe it's just going to get folded. Okay, now that guy. Yeah, I'll probably just go with a call for now. Oh, great, an ace on the flop. Hmm. And if he's got an ace, I've only got two outs to beat him, so. But if he's taking this long, he probably doesn't have an ace, so. Hmm, no, I'm thinking he might have a higher pocket here. Or maybe like King Queen or something. Maybe. Maybe peasant. I'm going to see one more card, just in case. Oh, okay. It is good that I decided to see that one more card then. But he could be on a flush draw or a straight draw, so I think I want to deter him from continuing here. No, I'm not showing what I had, actually. Seven deuce. Okay, bluff time. And of course, I've got to be ready to show it. You can't see it, but I've just moved my mouse to where the show cards button will come up. So we'll start with a fairly normal opening raise. And, okay, I didn't get to show cards because I was busy adjusting my laptop's cooling pad, so there's a bit more airflow under it. Uh, okay, so this I want to fold. So, yeah, it does, recording does have kind of high CPU usage, and in a game I tried to record the other day, my computer actually headed to the point where the graphics driver crashed for a few seconds and that screwed up the recording, so don't want that to happen again. Okay, if it looks, I mean, it's just checking on the recording software and it looks like it's still going all good. And 
Of course, the players. Okay, Xbox is still in here. I might get a chance to get revenge today. The other day I was playing a tournament and I got knocked out by him. This wasn't the one I was recording. Actually, yes, it was the one I was recording that crashed. And yeah, I had Ace King offsuit. Someone raised Xbox 3 bet. I 4 bet all in. First person folded, Xbox called, he had King 10 suited, and he blocked a flush. Like, it, it's not enough that he just got one, he blocked one. Ooh, we've got a three way all in here. Oh. <laughs> okay, that was a <laughs> bit of an interesting one, I'm glad I stayed out of that. Not gonna call this when I had already all in. I should have called it, I would have had a flush. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> okay, I'm at a new table, who have I got? No one I recognize. The HUD hasn't updated yet, so can't even see if I've got history with these players. But we do have a board that could be allowing quite a lot of strong hands, including even a potential straight flush if someone's got 6-4 suited or 8-4 suited. And it came down to high card, wow. Okay, so next I've got an ace-jack, that's definitely an openable hand. Even more so if it gets folded and I'm now in position. And I took down the pot right there. Ace nine suited. Hmm, do I want to open raise there? I mean, I want to play it, but I'm just going to limp this one and see what happens with the other players. In a normal size raise, I'm going to be calling it, but it does also kind of mean I've got to hit a hand. But okay, that's worrying. Let's try and get an idea of where he's at. Ah, fold. Okay, I had no idea what he had, but kind of been too great. Teenage suited. I just realised I am in a high enough place to get a prize. Not the best prize, but a prize. So, so I want to call some of this three-way pot. I don't have to put in that much to call. I'm going to see a flop. And I did not particularly like this flop. I mean, if a nine that's not in hearts comes, it's good. So, but that's the reason you're finding a three-outer, and I'd still lose to ten kings. So, and that does not make things any better. Doesn't really make things any worse because people aren't likely to play a hand that's had a full house here. But uh, I think I'm gonna let this one go and let them battle it out. Seven four off suit, that's straight and then. Oh, I need good cards, not shitty ones. King 7 suited. To, I mean, I can open it if no one else does first, but I probably want to fold if there's any raise. Okay, uh, let's see. One's probably going to fold to steal, the other I had no idea. And call. Okay, they folded awesome. A little bit more in my stack. Hey, how have I dropped to 10th place or 9th place? Oh, right, because people would have been moving up because they played big hands, whereas I haven't been playing any big ones. 10 King off suit. What do I want to do with that? I did just raise the last hand, and I don't want to be raising too much, 
so not the greatest thing I'm going to fold it just to like sort of preserve an image of being somewhat tight Nightcrawler is the only player at this table who's got any history on me, assuming he uses a HUD. So, and even he doesn't have much, but I guess that is probably going to work if I try and play it off as me being a bit on the tight side. Oh, shit. Enough food and that, especially with someone raising ahead of me, that can go in the nut. I'm down to 11th place now. Is 11th still in a prize? No, I've got to be 9th or higher to get a prize. Plus, of course, there's a prize for anyone I knock out. What is it? <laughs> 25 cents per knockout. 7th to 9th I get $1.64, 6th place two twenty five, fifth three oh seven, fourth four ten, third six fifteen, second eight twenty, and if I win twelve thirty one. So not a huge price in any case, but I guess for a tournament that's only dollar thirty to enter, it's not too bad. I mean a field of only how many players or what? 41 players altogether, 32 of whom are still remaining. Indicator up in the top right says 33, but the tournament lobby says 32, and that's usually a bit more accurate. Thankfully, in the top right doesn't update as often, so they both display me as 11th, but yeah, it's different how many that's out of. Three five or suit, you're fucking kidding me, mate. You serious? I just folded three five off suit and I would have blocked a straight on a rainbow board. And I would have won the hand. <sighs> Fucking typical, ain't it? <laughs> oh well, shit happens. 810, probably gonna wanna fold this unless I can check it, which I cannot. Uh, he's a, this is the first time I've seen this guy raise, so I probably wanna nope out of that one. Oh, come on, give me some good cards. <laughs> I didn't even like Ace 4 suited, I'll take that. Okay, now I'm probably going to get Ace 4 suited on the next hand and majorly lose, but... <laughs> now I get Queen 7, but if no one opens... Oh, someone opened, never mind. So if no one opens, I could probably pull off a blind steal. Yeah, yeah, I definitely don't want to be involved in this one. Everybody's going all in on it. Have we moved to another table again? Who have I got at this table? No one noticeable, really. Uh, even at this new table I'm getting shit cards. I suppose 8 jack isn't terrible, but first to act I probably don't want to be playing it. Oh, we've got a shabby dude here. Oh, I don't know, we might have a dude who just picked up Ace Ace and got a bit excited. 6-2 suited, I mean this is probably the best I've gone in a while, but... 
still don't know that it's justifiable to play it. Nah, I'm folding it. Don't really have any reads on this table yet. Oh, seven eight suited. Okay, this isn't too bad. Okay, well if he's sitting out, so if I raise he folds and I've got the pot. I need to keep that in mind. This guy here is sitting out. So I mean if I try a steal, I've only got to succeed against one player as well, unless he comes back. Okay, this guy is really shoddy. Um, do I want to call him with Ace 10? Suited Ace 10 I probably would, but nah. Too risky. Shame because it would have been a fairly decent hand otherwise. Ace 8. I would play that, but I suspect he was going to shove again. Well, I don't like players who just always go all in, because I'm pretty much just going to be sitting here till I get some good cards and if he gets knocked out. Hmm, 10 2 off suit, how lovely. Maybe I'll just keep folding till I get pocket aces. And I'm not against that guy. Okay, this guy doesn't fold. I might be playing a hand for once. Yeah, I can call that. Uh, not a very nice flop. Has that flop helped? Him? Is that a check? I'm slow playing, or a check? I don't have anything. I think I need to put in a small bit to see how he reacts. He folded, okay, it was a check, I don't have anything. We might have had, like, a pair of nines, but... Maybe a low pocket pair, but... Yeah. Okay, four, five, off suit. Oh, but if no one opens, I want to raise, because Rizzo Vini here is sitting out. There's Rizzo Valmi, not Vini. Yeah. Go hand the pot over to this guy then. Ten King suited. This isn't bad, and that intro guy's folded. I'll call this one. See what the flop brings. Come on, Jack Queen Ace of Heart. So I've got top here, second highest kicker. So I'm not entirely hopeless here, unless someone's got a high pocket. Yeah. Let's just go for a semi small raise. I mean, it's kind of big, but it's small compared to the pot size. About two thirds, so. He's thinking about calling. Ah, he didn't call in the end. I was like, if he called, it probably meant he had at least uh, maybe five, six, or. I mean, the. Worst case scenario, he would have had 10 ace, in which case I'd have had to hit a king to beat him. But well, as it happens, he folded, so I don't have to hit anything to beat him. Five five. Okay, this isn't too bad. Might want to go with smaller raise size here. If he goes all in, I'm calling him. If this guy goes all in, I might not. Awesome! That is... I mean, it's not the best flop I could have asked for, but it's a good one. No, no, I've been playing a few too many hands lately, I'm folding that one. It's one I might play sometimes. <laughs> nice, I managed to fold me when they showed the side view is going all in. Oh, I had the same hand as him. Yes, he's gone. Awesome. 
Sweet, now I can loosen up the... Oh, and dear, he appears back at my table again. speak English? Probably. A lot of German people speak English, so... Yeah, I have noticed this club, like, majority of the members are German, but most of them speak English, so... <laughs> wow, this is turning out to be an interesting board. I was half expecting a 5 or an ace there. There's a lot of things that are possible on this board. No straight flushes, but quads could easily happen. And winning hand's probably going to be a full house of some kind. Not impossible that a flush might win it, but I'm expecting a full house to be the winning hand here. I'm guessing Hawkeye's probably got a pocket pair in the sevens to kings range. I mean, you could have just had a 5 or a 6, but I don't know, that seemed a bit too confident for someone who just had a 5 or a 6 there. Dear here probably might have had the flush actually, I don't know. I mean, I'm nowhere near great at reading, so I could be way off. But we'll see. Okay, Ace 10, I'm going to raise this one. Gets folded. Ace King, awesome. Wait, this is the hand that got me knocked out of the last two tournaments I played in this group. I'm gonna play it safe and just call it. I know statistically I should have raised it, but <laughs> I don't know. Ace King has not been a lucky hand for me in this group. See if I can maybe push one of them out. Even better, I push both of them out. Okay, Ace King just won a hand for me. Even though it was by making everyone fold. Ooh, and I'm back in the top nine again. I know it's a good top here with an alright kicker, but it's the rest of it straight out there now, so. Okay, a couple of ways to strike could have happened here, but none of them were particularly likely. Okay, I actually had the best, well, would have had the best hand if I played there, but. It's one that I probably wouldn't have felt too comfortable continuing with, so it's probably still for the best that I folded early, because otherwise I would have just folded later. Jack 7 off seat, and nope, that can go right in the trash. Going up again. Actually suited, that's a pretty shitty hand. And with a ray from under the gun, that is an easy fold. Oh, this would have been a good board to have Ace King on. Instant full house. That. The only way Ace King could be beaten here is the next card 
Linux two cards help make a royal flush or four of a kind. Oh no, four of a kind won't be possible if someone had ace king in here. Oh, unless Linux two cards are like Jack Jack and someone's got top Jack. Okay, ace queen. I like this hand more than ace king, so I am re raised for this one. Oh, fuck. That doesn't seem like he's got much, but I'm pot committed if I raise here, so I'm chicken. I'm hoping for a jack, which I did not get. Do I want to throw out a small bit? Yes, I think I do, but not a very big one. I think he might show his cards if he folds here, and I like to be courteous and show mine as well. I'll only show the ace though. I won't show what my kicker was. I don't seem to, to think about this one. Yeah, got the all in shootout running in the background there. And I already was knocked out of it. Also, by only showing the ace, it doesn't rule out that my other card might have been a king or a second ace, so... And by doing that, it sort of will make him think that maybe I didn't beat with nothing, and maybe I actually did have a good second card here. I don't know if he's the kind of player who'll think too deeply into that, but I mean, the fact that he just took a while to think about his move there. I don't know, basically it's all about making it harder to read me. My cards are going nowhere on this one. Yep, recording is still working, I just checked it again. I'm in seventh place at the moment, aren't there? Nah, nah. I don't think I want to call a raise with that. Ooh, 8-8, eight, eight. that's not a bad hand. It does depend what action other players take, but... I can definitely call that. I might want to back off of some food. Not a very nice flop for a pocket ace. There are a lot of cards out, pocket cards out there that I could beat, like say King Queen I'd be beating. Six King, no, six King is not likely to be out there, but seven eight I've got a chance. But yeah, I think it's best to be folding that one. There'll be another hand. Okay, no, I would have lost that one, so that was a good fold. I think I can open this. Only because these people like me. Oh, shit. Nah. He can have that one. Blind's going up again. Six can go straight to jail, do not pass go, do not collect two hundred dollars. And two you can do the same.
Queen's even is probably going to meet the same fate, but it does depend on what happens ahead of me. Who's in this guy? I mean, he's not the hardest to make fold. He is a bit liberal with his raises. I'm going to see a flop. Okay, this is a pretty good flop. I do still need another club to hit, but I'll keep going for now. Alright, now I'm going to play it slow, let him do the raising. Hope he hasn't just made a full house, and try and get some more chips out of him. Okay, I made him fold, which wasn't ideal, but... So I took down the pot, which is what really matters. Yeah, that was kind of Jack T. Ooh, my favourite hand, Jack T. Suited. Definitely want to at least see a flop on this one. Oh, do I want to call this? If Mr. Hun calls, I probably wouldn't get out yet. Um, no, I think it's for the best that I fold it. I'm probably going to regret folding it. Okay, no. Oh, I mean, like if an ace comes, I could still have won that, but so if it happens, it didn't, so. Nine wouldn't have helped me because it would have given me a straight to give me a here or there a full house, so. These are actually really iffy hands for people to be going all in, I think, but. seems to be playing a bit on the loose side at the moment. Okay, that was fair enough, shoving the ace king. And he's gone. Tech 7 is definitely a fold. Oh, x has been knocked out. 26. Yeah, I am literally doing better than a pro in this tournament. <laughs> Pin poor can go in the muck. Especially with that all in the head of me there. And people seem to be getting really shabby now. If I can just hold out until seven more people get knocked out, I get a prize. Back three can get folded. As I say, if I just folded every hand from here on out, there's probably a very good chance I'd get a prize. But where's the fun in that? <laughs> 2-3 off suit, that is a shit hand that I still might have raised if he hadn't because fold equity. And it's break time, okay I'm going to stop the recording in the break because that isn't actually very interesting to watch, I'll see you after the break. Okay, so break's nearly over. So I'm back on video. I just realised out of the 16 remaining players, I am one of only 7 who has not knocked anyone out yet. Uh, person in 4th place has knocked out 5, person in 3rd has knocked out 3, and the others are like 2 or 1. So hopefully I get some knockouts soon, but anyway, okay. 5-2 off suit, what a great hand to come back to.
Hmm, that's a really good hand for like pocket aces and stuff. Okay, I suppose I did get a few decent hands a bit earlier. Pocket fives, I think, was hit pretty well. Yeah, what's he being slave for? I don't really seem to be considering too much here, so maybe he just hasn't realised the break has ended. He's always one in every game. <laughs> um, I would have hit something. Yeah, I'd have hit Lois Pierre with Shit Kicker. Someone who wants to be it. <laughs> Lines going up, just to make matters even worse. Jack three off suit. How awful. Pocket sixes. Okay, that isn't terrible. Oh, I can just. Do I want to just check it or do I want to raise this one? I mean, pocket six is kind of got to rely on people folding, so I'm going to make a raise. Sad part is if I get three, if I get four bet, I'm probably going to have to put it down. But I don't know how likely it is that I will. Oh, everyone folded. Okay, that's the best outcome here. And really, in theory, I could have done that with any two cards. So. Good chance he's going to fold to this raise, so. That is a very nasty flop for these cards. I mean, if he's got a king, I am. But and this next two cards are both four, but do I believe he's got a king? And there's very easily something like ace queen here. I'm gonna see one more card before I give up. The card hasn't really changed anything, I'm gonna try and push him off now. If he calls I should probably assume he's got a king. I don't know, he's having to think about it. Maybe he doesn't have a king. Maybe he's got like an ace or something and he's hoping to hit it. Ah, oh, he folded. Best of all. Definitely didn't have a king. Cause there's no way he'd be folding there if he did. Unless he thought I had king seven, but... I don't know, I don't think I'm quite giving off the kind of image that would suggest I'd play king seven, so... Oh damn, my code isn't quite gone. Ugh, and Ruthie is a very annoying opponent, so... Yeah, I can go and eat that. At least at this table, every hand I've gone to showdown, I've won. I've got one dollars at showdown, ninety-nine percent, and that's because like I've set my HUD so it will never say a hundred percent. So I'll just cap it at ninety-nine. Uh, firstly, it's like a psychological thing. If it says a hundred, you're gonna it's gonna like 
make you not think about that. Just because it's been true so far doesn't mean it always will be. And secondly, it just looks tidier if it's always two digits, you know? Come on, I'm so close to winning a prize here. I can do this, come on. I'm very liberal with his raises lately, but I don't know that I want to be calling King Seaver, even if it's suited. No, I'm going to let this one go. A queen, nah, not at this point. Yeah, King 5 off suit. I mean, it's got a king, but it's not going to be a redeeming factor in of itself. Okay, I mean, if a 7 comes up on this board, that would have actually been a good end to play. Unless someone has 19 or 5 9. Can't really be ruled out with that bit in sequence. Oh yuck. But I might be able to check it, so I don't want it to be one of those mean checks up. You're not gonna let me see the clock for free. Seven five. I'm really getting sick of that guy raising. I wonder if I want to start fighting back at him. I do, but not with 7 5 suited. 7 6 maybe I'll give it a shot. <laughs> or 8 7. Yes, you need the same card put off suit. Is he going to do it again? No, I'm really tempted to do that. I get like he needs some semi decent cards and firing back at him. Ace two, that might be one to try with. Uh, I think I might raise this one. I haven't raised a hand in a while, so now, even if I code shoves, he's got a small stack and I've seen him shove with some fairly crap hands, so as long as we keep holds it he might be worth calling. Okay, this isn't looking bad. Well, that's getting me a bit back up the ladder there. 4-4. Four, four. I don't know if I want to play this, to be honest. Usually I'd would, but I'm just going to lump it and see what happens to the other players. I mean, if I can call it, like, if these two fold, I'll call here, but Hawkeye call. Okay, yep, let's give it a shot. Oh, no queens, no nines. No more hearts. Damn it! <laughs> One time I decide to fight back. <laughs> You'll see a block because that guy's just pushing me around too much and it's time to fight back. Okay, if uh, any spade comes up, if they Eight comes up, or if a king comes up, I've got this. And there's always the possibility that I make him fold right now. Let's take the chance. And of course. <laughs> oh well, finished in 13th place. Had a good game, so yeah. Hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you next time.